Today I'm going to be showing you guys what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to technical SEO. Now, some of you guys, you might already have a website and you might already be building links or you might be doing um, content, you might be blogging on these websites, but you just might not be seeing the results that you feel like you deserve. Now, this video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to run a technical SEO audit. In some cases, you might be doing everything correct from a content point of view, and you might also be doing everything correct from a link building point of view as well, but your website just isn't being loved by Google mainly because it might have crawling issues, you might have a lot of um, errors on your website. So this is the video for you. Um, I've just searched dentists in Denver. We'll go to, let's say, page four. Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website, as you can see from the graph, or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store. If you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. Or five. Um, we'll click on this, the, the, this actual website. Um, first of all, this website takes so long to load. Um, so that could be a reason as to why it's not ranking position number one. Um, and we will just run a technical SEO audit. So this is site, uh, sorry, this is Screaming Frog actually. Um, basically what this uh, tool does is it will actually crawl your entire website and it'll tell you if you actually have any issues. It does look like a very ugly tool. Um, some people call it a very nerdy tool, um, but it can be very useful, especially if you know how to use it. I'm going to show you guys how to use this fully. Um, while this is actually doing its thing, um, thankfully I've picked a, a random website that's not taking too long to crawl. Um, I'm also going to set up a fresh Google Sheet so you guys can follow along. So this is the Google Sheet. Um, you can also do this on Excel. I just prefer to use Google Sheets. And if we take a look here, we're almost finished on this um, on this crawl. So... What we'll do now is once it's actually finished, there's a few things that you just want to make certain that you're doing right. So my screwing frog might look a little bit different to yours, but all in all, it's basically all the same, right? So you've got a unique amount of in-links, so that means the amount of internal links go into certain pages. You then have the word count um, here. Now, if you don't have the unique in-links in the word count, you might just need to scroll scroll over to the right hand side. You can easily just do that. <clears throat> you've then got the status code here. Um, you've then got if it's indexable, stuff like that, right? Now, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make certain I'm, I've gonna, I'm going to tick HTML here in the drop down. Then I'm just going to click on export. And then we're going to name the file the website name. So just call it whatever you want. This is was Cherry Creek dental spa right i'm just going to save that and now i'm just going to upload this through to my actual uh, google sheet here so if i click on upload and i'm just going to click and drag this file over to google sheets and i'm just going to click on append to current sheet and that's literally it so now we've actually got everything in here um, there's a few things that we're going to be taking a look at. Um, we want to take a, take a look and see if the pages are obviously indexable. If they're not, why aren't they? Um, we also want to be taking a look at status code. So there's a few things we're just going to move and shuffle over, right? Um, and then we're going to set up a couple filters in here, right? So we're going to, first of all, I'm just going to, I've got OCD, so I'm just going to tweak the colors on this a little bit. <clears throat> but then anything that's in that's non-indexable, as you can see, there's quite a few here. Um, 
we're actually going to set up an if statement to say like if it's not indexable why is it not indexable um so we're going to do um data do, 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 do. is it conditional format and format sorry format and then conditional formatting and then if the text contains none we're gonna say red and actually we just need to select a range here so we're just gonna do this range here so all I've done here is I've just selected apply to range b2 to b99 um, and anything that's actually red it's actually gonna say to us why it's why it's basically red um, and as you can see, we've actually got a few pages that um, they end up um, 301 in for whatever reason. So if we actually take a look here, you'll see that this page actually 301s. Okay, so th this this website, I, I've, I've not selected this website. Like I just randomly clicked on or uh, clicked on the website. But as you can see here, the URL, it redirects to denti dental services hyphen old then crowns and bridges um so it looks like there's a few technical issues with with this website um same goes with like this url so if we actually if we zoom in on this url so you can see right you've got dental hyphen services as the url and when we actually click on this url it's going to go to dental hyphen services hyphen old um, so obviously we, we want to try and fix that. Um, anything that's like non-indexable that's in the HTML, we want to try and figure out why that is. Um, it might be a, a poor website migration, for example. Um, it could be a handful of reasons as to why they've got it. But this is quite a lot of their service pages. Um, what would actually be interesting to see is if this website has um or it used to previously rank pretty high and now it doesn't because it looks like um it might have done at some point so yeah as you can see here at some point they've messed up the url structure um and it has obviously dropped in significant amounts of rankings um so i mean They've not lost a lot of rankings. They used to rank for 423 keywords. Now they rank for only 300. So, I mean, I, I suppose one quarter of the website has been hit. So that's just one example of it, what you can obviously pick up when you're doing technical SEO, right? Um, I think in this case, you, you guys might not have this issue. You might do. Um, if you are getting a website redesigned, make certain that the web developer, they understand that they shouldn't be messing around with the URLs because that's all that's just happened here. They might have had a new website redesigned and then um, the URLs have changed in the process. Our next thing that we were going to want to look at is the actual amount of the, the word count of the actual page, right? So like, for example, here they're trying to rank for cosmetic dentistry um in denver was it cosmetic dentistry denver now if we were to actually search that cosmetic dentistry in denver what we'll actually see is their actual home page ranks for it oh no sorry this is a completely different website um, my bad um so you've got a couple of cosmetic dentistry websites but what you'll typically find with cosmetic dentistry, because um, it's a service, you're, you're going to need a little bit more content. Um, let me see if I can try and find um, a inner page that we can correlate to. So, for example, these guys, right? This is an inner page, um, and they've got a fair amount of actual page or amount of content on the page. Um, let's see if we can actually do a word count on this. Um, word counter plus as you can see they've got 526 words um, our page here it actually has 168 words so that's another thing that we can obviously get like an SEO optimized content article um, for this because right now this is just the the only content on this page is just this literally just these four um, sentences um, obviously, we, we want to try and beef this page up a little bit more. Um, they, they've actually done pretty well with their inner pages. Um, 
with the content. Obviously, it could definitely be a lot more in depth, but again, it's it's not as bad as the actual page that we were looking at before. So that's another thing that we would also want to take a look at um, is the actual word count. Um, now, in some cases, if the page is actually free or warning or it's non-indexable, it's going to automatically um, say that it's a zero word count page. So just bear that in mind. Um, and then let's just take a look. So they've got some free ones here. Um, you want to try and find where the free ones is actually coming from. So if we go back to Screaming Frog, and if we then sort by highest to lowest status code, so they've got a few 404 pages. They've got one 404 page. Yet. Then they've also got um, a load of 301 pages as well. So if we take a look here, um, now, if we take a look at this page, so this is another section within Screaming Frog. I'm trying to make it re like really basic as much as I possibly can, because I know this this tool just looks really ugly. But if we take a look, this URL, right? If we open this up, and if we take a look at the actual anchor text, so if we take a look at the anchor text of Dental Crown, right? So this is the anchor text that's internally linking, um, but it's a double 301. So once we click this, the URL in the bottom left, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll just read it out. It's forward slash dental hyphen services, forward slash crown and bridges, right? If you click that, it's actually going to redirect to a completely different URL. So it's actually going through to forward slash dental hyphen services, hyphen old, forward slash crowns and bridges. So again, they've just got a few of these issues that they just need to fix on their website. Now, the reason as to why this is important is because when Google comes to crawl your website, um, just as a little bit of an oversight, Google gets like, let's say 20 seconds to crawl as many pages of your website as possible. Um, now, if it needs to go to one URL that then gets redirected to another URL, you're actually wasting Google's crawl budget and you're also wasting Google's time. And in a lot of cases, Google will penalize your website for doing that. Um, now, obviously, this website's a little bit smaller, so they've not necessarily um, got too big of an issue. Um, but let's say if, if this website was like quadruple the size, you're going to want to fix these like ASAP. You, you're going to want to fix these... ASAP right now, but I'm just letting you guys know for bigger websites, it's always good to just do a screaming frog audit, let's say every every 90 days, to, um, typically speaking. So then we've got all of these, um, we've went through that. The next thing what we want to make certain of is the in-links. Now, the in-links is super important because that's actually the amount of internal links going through to certain pages. So we've got unique in-links here. We also do have in links as well over here. So if we actually move this over to our section here, right? <clears throat> so what you'll typically find is the pages that are in the nav bar, such as like your home page, or let's say your dental services or your cosmetic dentistry pages, all of those pages they will have a lot of amount of internal links. Now, one thing I have mentioned before is paid links or internal links in your nav bar or in your sidebar or in your footer, for example. These guys actually don't have, they've got a link to their privacy policy in terms and conditions. But if you are, um, if you are just relying on those internal links, you're, you're gonna fall short. What you want to make certain that you are doing is internally linking within your content here. So, for example, they're talking about crowns and bridges here. Um, they could definitely be um, internally linking, um, like what they have done here, to be fair, right? Now, from Google's point of view, the pages that have the most amount of unique in links are deemed as more important pages. So, Google will frequently come back to that page more often. So let's say, for example, if their um, teeth whitening page, which currently, actually that's 301, so let's pick one that's actually um, not 301, and right? So for example, um, if their um, smile makeover page had, let's say, 85 internal links, 
Google would deem that page as being a little bit more important than everybody, than all the other pages, if that makes sense. Now, <clears throat> what you want to make basically make certain that you're doing is your blog posts um, should be internally linking back up to your service pages. So for example, here, we've got like a load of dental services that they actually provide. We want to make certain that these are getting a lot of internal links right now. They've got a little bit of an issue here where all of these seem to essentially just have the same amount of internal links. And the, the reason for that is probably because they're, they're internally linked here. Now, what you want to make certain that you're actually doing as well is obviously internally linking from your blog posts up. Um, that's another way that you can obviously show to Google that these pages, hey, these pages are important. Go back to these pages. Frequently be crawling these pages. So, for example, I would be selecting maybe five or six of these services like Teeth Whitening or maybe Invisalign. Um, and I would be using those pages as actual um as my most important pages because those are the pages that are ultimately going to make my dental practice the most amount of money um now if say for example this was a hvac website with hvac repair you might not get that many uh, or that much profit but with a hvac replacement page um you will probably make a lot more profit so in that case i would probably internally link to that page more um so that, that's how um, I would be looking at doing like technical SEO. There's a few other bits that we can obviously take a look at. Um, now, the good thing about Screaming Frog is if, say, for example, you had a lot of duplicate titles, um, it could also show you. Now, in this case, they don't actually have any um, duplicate titles, which is quite good. The biggest issue on this website is just the free ones, which they could probably fix in like maybe a week. Um, You've then obviously got like the title lengths. Um, you've also got like the H1. So if you did have any duplicate H1s, again, these guys, they don't seem to have any duplicate um, issues. One thing that I would obviously say here is their H1 on one of their pages is just FAQs. You could obviously take tweak that page to have um, dental FAQs or what whatever the actual page is talking about. What is this? Um... Is this an FAQ page? Yes, it is. So their H1 here is just FAQ. They could definitely have this as Cherry Creek Dental Spa FAQ. So it's talking about all of their um, FAQs. Actually, what is this page? Actually, no. What I would probably look to do is these posts, these questions that they're actually um, answering here, how to get rid of jaw pain, how to relieve jaw pain. So uh, some of these would actually be deemed as one-off articles. So instead of just having a big FAQ like what they've done here, I would actually have like um, a dedicated page, like how much does Invisalign cost? That's a, a dedicated page. Right now, they're trying to rank all of these H2s under the FAQ page, which is just silly SEO. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we can pick up on. Sounds like it seems like I'm bullying this website. I'm actually not. I'm, I'm hoping you guys actually find this really useful. Um, but let's see. Is there anything else? No, I think I think that's it from the H1 point of view. Just that FAQ page that needs tweaking. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing crazy on this. Another thing that you can obviously take a look at is the bytes of what the actual website is. Now, everything seems fine here. Their homepage is a little bit more than ever, than all their other pages, but I'm gonna assume that it's probably because they might have like um, a big banner image or something. Actually, this image looks like it's not, yeah, this image is like, it's, it's a massive image and they're resizing it. So that's probably the reason why. Um, obviously, just make certain when you're uploading your images, you're actually um, sizing them down to the actual size that you're going to use it on. I'm going to assume that they've actually not um, open image and new tab. So it looks like the, these are fine, actually. Um, one thing that I also want to take a look at here is on Screaming Frog, what we can take a look at is the when you go into the images tab, what you can see is images that um, over 100 kilobytes, so 20, 16% of their images are over 100 kilobytes. 
Missing alt text, 53% of their images don't have any alt text, which is super important if you're trying to rank your images. Um, you've then got background images, none. Missing alt attribute. And then everything else seems fine. They've got a couple 404s on their images um, that they can definitely fix. Um, duh, 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 duh. Images, yeah. Again, there, there's nothing crazy about this website. There's just a few bits that they're actually just missing out on. So, I mean, from a technical point of view, every website is probably going to have some technical SEO issues. I'm hoping that this video has been a little bit useful for you guys. Um, I think every website should probably have like a technical SEO audit done. I don't know, maybe every every two months um, just to be on the safe side especially if you are frequently uploading more articles through to your website but if you guys have enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like and if you guys do want a free growth strategy call for your website make sure to check the link down below or head over to casualdash.com and fill in the contact form thanks